when you're preparing your glass, make sure you've washed it really well. I use Dawn liquid soap. Wash it really well, both sides, dry it off, let it really dry. Then I take some alcohol and a paper towel and clean it off really well. Um, now, we're going to draw our lines, and I'm going to use a Craft Smart paint pen. And when you're going to draw it, make sure you test it first and make sure it's still making a good, solid line without any variations in the black. Now, I'm, now, your frames, when you take your frames out, you'll notice that you have a lip that's about a quarter of an inch, just about, close enough, all the way around. So you're gonna have to allow for that quarter of an inch in when you're making your line. And when I'm drawing the lines on here, uh, I'm gonna take into account that one fourth, kinda line it up really well. And then when I take my ruler, I can line it on that line and just come on down. Be sure you have a good solid line and then just go all the way around. Now this is the side with the paint on it. And this is the back side. So I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to put my Mod Podge on the back. Now you can tell this is the, the lines drawn in. And I've taken and glued, uh, used E6000 glue and glued it here, here, here. You can also see I took the little, I let it dry really good overnight. I took the little picture hangers off the uh, back of the picture frame and E6000 glued them right there too so I'd have something to hang them with. I'm using a Mod Podge gloss and just regular old food coloring from the grocery store. I'm gonna do the sides here in green. Now get right up to the edge of that black and you can go over onto the black a little bit. And if you get some over the edge of the black, that's okay too, because you can always go back and wipe it off if you're trying to make it look even and random. Don't, you can see I kind of had a line of it going there. Now if you go over any on the part of the glass, you can take a paper towel and just get an edge on it and come down through there. 6,000 glue and glued this little uh, lead glass butterfly lid off I got out of a garage sale. And when you're, if you're gonna glue this type thing to a glass, make sure the edge of it is totally flat. When I lay it down, it doesn't wobble. Whereas like this one looks flat, but when you lay it down, it wobbles. So you can kind of see that it's going to do pretty good. Now on the back side, I'm flipping it over. I'm going to put the gloss Mod Podge. I don't know if you can tell, but the Mod Podge here is on the back side and it's already dry. I let that dry overnight so that I didn't mix in or smear any of it. And now I'm just going to put the gloss Mod Podge and I think I'm going to do the swirlies. I'm just going to kind of get it on here first, trying to get it as close to the edge as I can. I don't think will matter if I get a little bit of it on the green, but I'm gonna try real hard not to. And remember that the black paint pen is on the front side, so I'm not really covering that. All right, so let's start making our circles. We're gonna make little tight circles, little rosettes. 
uh, since you are working on the back side of this, try to remember uh, to put your flowers down uh, with the front side facing down. And I use the tweezers and kind of put it down in there. Don't know what else I'm going to put on there. Oh, guess I'm putting that on there. Hmm. How about that? Right there. Whew. And I do try to tap down the little leaves into the glue. And after it dries a little bit, I'm probably going to try and uh, very delicately paint on the back of those. I think that may be enough. Okay. Now, hardest part of this again is just sitting here and letting this dry and see what it's going to look like tomorrow. I've already finished this part. This is very well glued down. So I'm going to turn it over. And I get a lot of questions about uh, the back side of the flowers. And I do take just a little bit of the gloss Mod Podge and don't do much because you don't want to get the extra off onto the glass because it, it kind of shows up if you're not careful. And I just very gently paint the gloss Mod Podge on the back side of the petals to make sure it is protected and doesn't break off if you touch it on the back. So that's using all three, the dried flowers, the food coloring stained glass, and the glass 3D on there for a finished product. Here's one I just did with uh, just a little four by four, and it comes out really pretty too. 